In this video, we will be discussing these three homophones. Homophones are words that sound the same, but have different meanings and are spelled differently. There is the two that is spelled T-W-O. There's the two that is spelled T-O-O. And there's the two that is spelled T-O. The first two under discussion, T-W-O, is perhaps the easiest one. It is simply the word for the number two. It is followed by a plural noun, a noun that means more than one. So that if you mean two circles, one, two, you will use the word two that means a number. If you mean two cubes, one, two, you will use the two spelled T-W-O. The second two, the one spelled with two O's, can be confusing because it has two meanings. The first meaning of T-O-O is also. I have made up the name Jack and Jill for the meaning of this two to help you remember it. Do you see Jack and Jill in the word too? Think of Jill as a copycat, someone who wants to be just like Jack and to do everything he does. This sentence says, Jack has a dog. Jill has a dog too. Jack likes ice cream. Jill likes ice cream too. Notice that there is always a comma separating this two from the rest of the sentence. In addition to meaning also, this two also means not just right. Something is wrong and the writer is unhappy about it. I call this the complainer's two and made two unhappy faces to help you remember it. It is followed by an adjective, a describing word. So something can be too tall, too short, too soft, or too hard. Too much, too little, too many, or too few. If it helps you remember the meaning, you can also think of this as the Goldilocks too. If you remember in the story, Goldilocks went into the bear's house and saw some porridge on the table. Papa Bear's porridge was too hot. Mama Bear's porridge was too cold. To summarize, this too T-O-O, has two meanings. The first meaning is also. It is what I call the Jack and Jill two. This two is the only one that is separated from the rest of the sentence by a comma. The second meaning of T-O-O is not just right. I call it the complainer's two or the Goldilocks two. The third two is spelled T-O. It is by far the most common two that you will use in your writing. There are two kinds of words that will follow this two. One kind of word that comes after this two is a noun. A noun can be a person, as in the sentence, I gave it to Jack, or I gave it to her mom or I gave it to the girl. A noun can also be a place. So you would use T-O to say, I went to school, or I went to the park, or I went to his house. A noun can also be a thing. So you can write about the cover to the pot, 
the keys to the car or the answer to the question. This T-O kind of to can also be followed by another kind of word. It can be followed by a verb. A verb is also called a doing word or action word. You can use T-O to say, I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to run, I love to play, or I love to read. It might also help you to notice that people often pronounce this to as t when they are speaking. Look at this sentence. It says, I like to go to school. One T-O is followed by a verb, to go, and the other is followed by a noun, to school. Now listen to how T-O sounds when T-O is pronounced T. I like to go to school. I like to go to school. This pronunciation of T-O is the one you are most likely to hear in everyday conversation. People cannot use this pronunciation with either of the other spellings of two. So if you can pronounce two as t, then you know you should spell it T-O. So now we've discussed the different spellings and different meanings of two. But what is the procedure you should follow to decide which one to use in a sentence? Well, I recommend that you first decide whether or not you're talking about a number. If you are, then write TWO. If you're not talking about a number, then you can quickly eliminate this as a choice. So then you only have to decide if the two you want has one or two O's in it. The two with the two O's is either the Jack and Jill two or the Goldilocks two. If the two you want either means also or means not just right, then you write it T-O-O. -O. Finally, if neither of the first two words is the one you need in the sentence, then you know you should use the two that has only one O. This is the one you can pronounce T. Let's try a few sentences and see how you do. Pat ate lunch with his two friends. Which two should we use? Following our recommended procedure, let's first see if this two refers to a number, so we can either choose it or eliminate it as a choice. Two friends. This two is referring to the number of friends. There are two of them, so we can immediately choose the two that is a number. My best friend can ride a bike, too. Right away, we can tell this is not the number two, so we can eliminate this choice and concentrate on whether this two should have one or two O's in it. We begin by looking at the double O twos, the Jack and Jill two and the Goldilocks two. The first one means also, so we see if substituting the word also makes sense. Now the sentence reads, My best friend can ride a bike also. Since the word also does not change the meaning of the sentence, we know that this sentence needs what I call the Jack and Jill too. So looking again at our three choices, we now know that the middle choice is correct, T-O-O. -O. But we are not done. We also know that there's something else we must also do to the word that means also. What is it? Yes, we also know that we also must put a comma to separate the word that means also from the rest of the sentence. In this sentence, we must put a comma after the word bike. This sentence reads, the homework was too hard for him, but we have to figure out which two to use. We can quickly eliminate the two that means a number. 
Could it be one of the twos with the double O's? The homework was too hard for him. What does that mean? Yes, the sense of the sentence is what I call the Goldilocks two. The one that means the homework is not just right for him. It is too hard. So he must choose the middle two for the sentence. In this sentence, Jane gave a gift to her teacher. The teacher was the recipient of a gift from Jane. The missing word is not a number. There is no sense of also or not just right in this sentence. So let's look at T-O as a possibility. To her teacher is the word to followed by a person, her teacher. The two can also be pronounced t without changing the sense of the sentence. Jane gave a gift to her teacher. Jane gave a gift to her teacher. It is the bottom two that is correct. The next sentence is, I have to write a poem for my class. To write is not a number. I have to write doesn't have the sense of meaning also, nor does it have the sense of not just right. Rather, to write is a two that is followed by a verb, the verb write. Additionally, the word can be pronounced as t without any change in meaning. I have to write a poem for my class. I have to write. To write. So it is the third two that is correct in this sentence. The two that is followed by a verb. If it is helpful to you, you may use this chart whenever you are deciding which two to use in a sentence. I hope that some of these tips and tricks have been helpful. Please check back for other lessons on common English mistakes.